everybody. On um, Sunday, we talked about the fear of the Lord, and the fear of the Lord is living as if God exists and living from his resources. And uh, I wanted to think about a little bit, what does it look like not to live from God's resources, not living in light of his reality and his goodness? In Proverbs 132, the writer says, for the simple are killed from their turning away and the complacency of fools destroys them. So there's these two kinds of people who are the opposite of those who fear the Lord. First are the simple. Uh, the simple don't know what's going on. Uh, they're not aware of essential information that can save their life. And so the first kind of person who doesn't fear the Lord is somebody who hasn't done the work to know what is really going on in life. Then the second person is the complacent person. And the complacent person is somebody who knows what's going on, but it doesn't motivate them. They don't act upon it. Uh, they understand that God exists and that he has requirements of them, but they don't really care. They like the life they have and uh, they're willing to risk it. And the writer says that for both, the simple, the simple are killed because of their turning away. Uh, they don't go towards what is true and what is good. Uh, what we need is the resources of the kingdom of God in Jesus Christ. And to live without them is to be killed by our own devices. And the complacent are fools. And they're fools because they don't rely upon God. Uh, they don't live from his resources. They don't live under the rule and reign of Jesus. And so they're destroyed. And so this week, as we consider living from the resources of the kingdom, fearing the Lord, check your heart. Are you complacent? Do you know what to do and you're just not doing it? Or maybe you don't know really what's going on and you're not quite sure what God requires from you. Both of those spaces require work on our part so that we can experience all that God has for us. So God bless you guys, and I'll see you on Sunday as we continue our series, Nuts and Bolts.